Hello children. Today's topic is criteria for racial classification and understanding the major races of the world and their distribution. Races are human classification based on physical appearance that is the outer appearance of a man. It has nothing to do with the biological variation as well as the level of intelligence. It is basically governed by the genetic assemblage. Now there are different criteria for racial classification. In this slide I am giving some of those criteria which are easily uh, observable from the first sight of a man itself. Uh, in the first sight itself you can see the skin color of a person. So here the first criteria is skin color. So it's skin color. Uh, here I am giving six shades of human skin starting from pale white to dark brown or black. Uh, then you can use hair texture and thickness. Now in this column I am giving some of the uh, different thickness of human hair ranging from 5 millimeter to 30 millimeter. It can range from 5 millimeter to 30 millimeter. Again there are different types of hair textures starting from African curl, kinky straight and intervening ones you can see here there are pictures also of different types of curls then wavy wavy hairs then straight hair also then we use the height of a person to classify them and this is also called as stature so stature is basically measured in inches here there are four or five classifications that is very short. These are people which have height less than 58.5 inches. Then there are the maximum height that is um, more than 67.75 inches and they are categorized as giant. In between there are short, medium and tall people. Now coming to the other side here I am showing different eye folds shapes and of different eye folds which are also used for classification of race here there are six types of eye fold that is diamond hooded deep set round sleepy and drowned then we can use eye color there are different shades of eye color uh, which are given here the ranging from ocean blue to aqua marine so there are different shades then there is shape of the face the shape of the face are basically uh, interrelated with the uh, shape ge geometrical shapes which are oval circle triangle square rectangle diamond inverted triangle and heart shape so these are the criteria which are observable in the first sight itself then in the next slide i'm giving you some of the indices which are often used for racial classification the first one here is the nasal index nasal index is basically an index which use the length the height and the width of the nose here in this picture i am showing how the height and the width of the nose is taken now this width of the nose is divided by the height of the nose and the whole is multiplied by 100 to convert it into percentage so um, here we get five categories which are hyperlepterine that is very narrow then lepturine, long and narrow nose, mesorine, moderate shape, platurine that is broad and short, hyperplaturine that is very broad and wide nose. Okay, next is the cephalic index. Now again cephalic index is also calculated by uh, dividing the head breadth by the head length and multiplying by 100. Here the uh, head length is measured from the temple to the back of the head and the breadth is measured from the highest distance 
um, in the center that by uh, that is the distance between the airs two airs okay now this cephalic index is classified into four uh, range groups by William and he called them as dolicocephalic that is a, a long head mesocephalic that is a medium medium range of uh, length then brachiocephalic it is a broad head then hyper brachiocephalic is very broad head shape then in the other side i'm showing a um, orbital index orbital index is basically the uh, taken from the orbit of our eyes you know the place where our eye is located is called as orbit so here the the width of the orbit that is o w and the height of the orbit that is o h are taken and similarly the width is divided by height and it multiplied by 100 and here there are three um, types of orbital index values the mega semi which is basically a more a broader one then meso semi moderate micro semi it is a smaller one and here it is also given the common uh, where this type of orbital index are found in which type of people then you can see here the facial index which is also called as por prosopic index prosopic index is basically the measurement of the mean facial height and mean facial width um, measurement um, mean, mean fatal facial height is divided by mean facial width and multiplied by 100 now means mean facial height is taken from between the two eyes above the nose to the chin as you can see in the picture now this is again classified into five categories first one is hyper uriprosopic then uriprosopic mesoprosopic leptoprosopic hyper leptoprosopic so basically there are five types of facial index now these are beside this index there the blood group is also used for classification of human here we can find a b a b and o types of blood blood as well as different rh values now here based on those criteria there are three major classification of human race throughout the world these are mongoloid negroid and caucasoid and the pictures here shows different um, three boys of different race now here um, i have i'm showing a table this shows the three different types of race and what are the traits used for their distinction differentiation so first one is the skin color as you can see caucasoids they have uh, pale reddish white to olive brown skin color mongoloid saffron to yellow brown negroid reddish brown brown to brown and some black yellow brown saturated that is height in caucasoid it is ranging from medium to tall mongoloid medium to short and negroid tall to very short hat form now caucasoid they have long to broad and me short medium high to very high mongoloid predominantly broad and high medium negroid predominantly long height road low to medium face caucasoid narrow to medium broad trend to high no prognathism mongoloid medium broad to very broad males high and flat tends to medium high negroid medium broad to narrow tend to medium height strong prognathism that is the projection of our teeth above uh, our you know in our face hair in caucasoid head hair is basically 
having light blonde or dark brown color texture is fine to medium form is straight to wavy again they have a little body hair head hair is in mongoloids are uh, light blonde to dark color texture is fine to medium form is straight to wavy negroid they have light blonde to dark brown hair color texture is fine to medium form form is straight to wavy and knotted eyes the eyes color range from light uh, blue to dark brown and lateral eye folds are occasionally available in coccosoids mongoloids on the other hand have brown to dark brown medial epicentric folds very are very common negroids brown to brown black color of eye vertical eye fold common nose in caucasoid bridge nose bridge usually high form is narrow to medium broad mongoloid the nose bridge usually low to medium and the nose form is medium broad negroid bridge is usually low form medium broad to very broad body build in caucasoid they are linear to lateral slender to rugged mongoloid tend to be lateral linearity evident negroid tend to be lateral and muscular blood groups which are common in these three races are in caucasoid it is more a than b mongoloid higher in b negroids in all these races they have in all of the blood groups they have higher rh values now coming to the major uh, sub races of the world and their distribution it is world w o r l d now the primary races are shown in the first column caucasoid negroid mongoloid and their distribution on the uh, world map is also given then caucasoid they are further divided into mediterranean inu celtic nordic alpine east ba baltic negroid african negroes nilotic negro negritos mongoloid they are mongoloid arctic mongoloid basically eskimos then there are again composite races and uh, some residual race mixed types of races now here these three are main racial types that is caucasoid negroid and mongoloid beside that there is the one more common race which is a mixed race which is often mentioned in some of the literatures they are australoids and they are basically found in australia this is a mixed race and often it is uh, in many scholars they used to include it and some others they used to exclude it from the racial major racial classification so here in this world map i'm showing different uh, racial distribution of different racial groups you can see the yellowish color is basically showing uh, yellow to brown color is showing mongoloid then blue is showing the area of caucasoid then negroid is shown in the african part that is dark chocolate color then there is a dark brown color which is basically found in australia and um, new zealand so this is basically the area of australoid now coming to india in india there are different scholars which have given different classification of race in india uh some of the early ones were given here two are basically given here uh sir herbert hope risley in 1915 he classified indian race in seven categories dravidian indo-aryan mongoloid aryo dravidian mongolo dravidian sintho dravidian and 
the turco iranian again the other type of classification is given by b s guha in 1937 and the map is also shown here he has classified the human races in india into six categories they are negrito and this is classified as one and you can see the one is located only in andaman and nicobar islands then proto asteroid it is categorized as two and you can see two is basically found in the central india here central indian portion then the third one is mongoloid they are found in the himalayan area as well as in the northeastern india then mongoloids are basically divided into two types one is paleo mongoloid then tibeto mongoloid then paleo mongoloid are further divided into long headed and broad headed ones then he has divided a fourth category which is called as mediterranean here you can see the western in northern northern central india northern central that is up bihar then uh, some parts of rajasthan gujarat maharashtra orissa uh, karnataka andhra pradesh telangana then some parts of tamil nadu are also included here in mediterranean type mediterranean type again has three subcategories paleo mediterranean mediterranean and oriental you can see in between in the andhra and the tamil nadu area there is the negroids are also available and proto astroloids are also available basically this pro negroids and proto astroloids are the the tribes of central india and southern india as well as andaman and nicobar islands then we have uh, the fifth group which is the western brachiocephalic this is the fifth one and the fifth one is available here in um, uh, haryana and or is west bengal then we have uh, there are three categories of western brachiocephalic alpinoid arvinoid and dinoric then there is the sixth 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 group which is called as the nordic and they are found in the northern um beyond after you know be, um, below the himalayan area in the northern india that is punjab haryana then western up some parts of rajasthan there is a group called sixth group is found here and they belongs to nordic okay these are the things which i have to i have to explain today so children thank you have a nice day